after seven years, Brad and Angelina are engaged. I think it's nice, you know, that they're finally getting married, and and now they can finally, you know, think about, you know, having some kids. I think it's. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. I dare you to watch the talk and not come away with a chuckle. I dare you. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. The women of the talk are always entertaining. It's always smart conversation. They're in New York City this week. But guess what? We have them in Studio 57 first. The show was recently nominated for not one, not two, not three, four. Three or four daytime three. Emmy Awards. Three? Well, let's but Sharon, but Sharon said four. Four. During the break, <laughs> no, during the break, Sharon said four. So we're thrilled. I'm going to say seven. Sharon. I'm going to go with four. So Thank we're thrilled you. to welcome Thank Julie you. Chen, Sarah Gilbert, Sharon Osbourne, Aisha Tyler, and Cheryl Underwood. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Julie, it must feel a little weird to you because Ju Julie came in. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Larry. Hi, Doug. Hi, Pat. <laughs> How does it feel to be back? You were never in this studio, but you were on this show. Exactly. It feels like home. And Doesn't that's what's weird to see, like my old family from CBS This Morning and the early show days I know, in a I new know. space. I know. And well, we are, listen, we're delighted to have you guys. And right before we went on, Chris, like who, as you know, is our executive producer, said this is a, is a historic moment because this is the first time all the tables, all the chairs have been filled. Yay! Yes. That's how I feel, too. I so, know. congratulations on the Emmy. So, when you heard that you were nominated, I'm thinking the big one is best talk show you thought what Sarah because Sarah this all started with you Missy uh, this is your brainchild I guess but it's I mean it's really evolved into something bigger and better than I could have ever imagined with this team and our production team and all that I was stunned I mean I just wasn't I didn't know the nominations were coming out. I wasn't waiting for it. I wasn't expecting it. I'm still. Did shocked. you really not know that they were coming out? I always I say, swear I didn't know. Really? I I Trust me, she yeah, didn't. Yeah, know. I was <laughs> <say>. <laughs> <laughs> really, that's yeah. true. Julie, you knew. No, I didn't. You didn't <laughs> know that they were coming we were out. We all really surprised. I know. I, I know. Okay. She, she, I heard it at know. the beauty salon, the DMV, and the swap meet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember pulling into work, and someone was like, "Did you hear?" And I thought it was bad news. Like I pulled in, like, "Did you hear?" I was like. What? Who? When? Yeah, I thought I was fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, let's just say congratulations, because knock on wood, so far, so good. And congratulations yeah. to you, Sharon Osbourne. I love, listen, it's my heart's deepest desire that I will live long enough to see my grandchildren. And you have a new baby in that. Your first yeah, grandchild. My first grandchild. Pearl is her name. Yes, I that's heard. hence now this is it. Everything <laughs> that's pearly. That's not your trademark. <laughs> and um, I just couldn't be happier. For me, it's one of the blessings of being as old as I am because you think, oh, you know, it's downhill when it's you get not. to this age, but it it's not. I'm trying to imagine Sharon Osborne as a grandmother. What kind of grandmother you will be? I'm terrible. I'm disgusting because I spoil uh -huh. and what Ever Pearl wants to do is fine by me. It's fine by you. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd have fun today because what you all do is your show is built on topics. Can we throw out a couple? John Edwards and Ryle Hunter. You know, it's now moving into the defense. Should he? Is he going to take the stand? Do we care? I say yes, we do. I, I'd like to see them both take the stand. I don't think that's going to happen. I, you I take it, it Cheryl. Um, I, I think uh, Riel needs to tell what they were snuggling up talking about and clarify. <laughs> did, was he scared of his wife or did he use some of the money? So we want to hear from the mistress scallywag side uh, who piece. Who believes Cheryl, they say Cheryl, anyway? Cheryl, I have to say, it is so funny to look at you close to close mm -hmm. because on the show you always Always joke about looking like Wesley Snipes. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, <laughs> ask me, when are you going to pay your taxes? <laughs> <laughs> and until you said it, honest to God, I never <laughs> thought about it. I never no. thought about it. But, but, but you know what? See, I had to get beautified because fine Charlie Rose is up here, you know, yeah. so I'm trying to holler, hey, hey, now you're not in the second. Hey, hey, hey. He wanted to do it, but there wasn't enough room. <laughs> no, what? Me and Charlie Rose, it'd be it worse than. On your knees. That's right. It'd be worse than. And it was in real. We were using CBS money for our love now. No. Hey. Cheryl, what, what, is it, what is it that attracts you to Charlie Rose? Excuse me for a second. I would like to talk about this. What is it that attracts you to Charlie Rose? See, first of all, it's his debonair stature. You know, when you're talking about newsmen, you're talking about Edward R. Murrow, you're talking about Eric Severide, you know, you're talking about Walter Cronkite, you know, that's Cary Grant, that's Walter Cronkite. You got to get that. You know, see, oh. you got to take him down to Harlem, you know, and we get some tape. Did, did, you, did you say you have to hit that? Yes, yes, that he, is, yes he is. He is very chase. lovable. Cut to the chase. Just give him a kiss. Absolutely. Oh, but I don't know. Is he married? Does he have someone to love? I he, think. Oh, I, he's not married. I, so, think, look, I think Charlie's okay. Put the camera on Charlie. Was like, what you trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be cute. They're gonna be like, why is 
Charlie Rose and CeeLo dating each other. <laughs> <laughs> he is so progressive. <laughs> now that the president has come out for gay marriage, Charlie has now decided to marry Join Wesley him. Snipes. I can't believe it. What is happening in America? Can I just oh. say, I do think biracial babies, I have some in my family, are very uh, beautiful children. We can't children. have no babies now. I can't have no babies. <laughs> if, you know, if, if I'm pregnant, there better be three wise men at the door because it's Christmas. I can't have no babies. And me and Charlie are too old to have a baby. It'll probably come out as an adult as old as me and Charlie. <laughs> You know, I think we should just keep playing with this. Charlie, how you doing? <laughs> Charlie's like... All I can say is go, girl. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! That's my yeah, boo. Yeah, yeah, you should know Charlie Rose. Charlie Rose has swagger. Hey, you know it. We're going to the 4040 Club. Me and Charlie going to drink them under the table. Charlie's ever been called my boo. <laughs> That's right. Julie, save me. That's right. I have no control. I cannot. Julie, you do have control. This is the thing I've always wondered because Julie is, is the boss's wife. We can say very respectfully. And I always wonder what it's worth, ladies, working with the boss's wife. Because I'm thinking. Amazing. It is. It is. <laughs> I told you earlier she was smart. We've been sharing the game. Let me, you, no, no, let yeah. me tell you. No, because I would like we to did, know. We didn't know each other, and yes. then, you know. Yes. We just started the show together, and you always think. Yes. Always think, yes. because it was the same for me being the wife. Of of Ozzy. Ozzy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Why does she manage him? She's yeah. just his wife. That's yes. why she's there. Yes. And you go in with that little seed of doubt, but we all say, Julie is the best, yeah. best, yes. best. She's our captain. Yeah. Yeah. She's our anchor. Yeah. She she's a, is. Okay, she's a okay. But do you ever think I better not yeah. make her mad because she might tell no. us? No. Let me tell you no. what. I, I never started. started. I was I'm just time. wondering, Julie. No. I was the last person to get okay. in, to come into the show, and I had a different kind of trepidation, which is you're getting on a moving train. You don't know what it's going to be like. What the dynamics going to yes, be like? Yes, because you started Will the show that you already established. Yeah, and. Uh, the very you first, first, you fit in. Well, I, yeah. I feel very you grateful for that, nicely. but I will say that uh, from, everybody was so kind. It was such a great place to be. And you will never meet anybody who makes fun of themselves more than Julie. I know. I, yeah, I said she has that a too. very naughty mouth off camera. Julie, and I, just, saw you. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you with a big natural, natural yes. wig and looks fierce. And, and she's got moves. Aisha, yes. when, yes. when Aisha yes. came on, yes. 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 Okay. It's, and, yes. and I think when you when you, you know, it's a group of people who everybody too. wants to do good work, and and that and there's no ego, and and no one is more game than Julie. We're all like, we don't want Julie. It's like we're dressing up, and I'm going to be the one in front with the biggest afro. Yeah. Yeah. She's always well, down. She's no, always so she, really does, she does seem to like to play. Aisha, when Aisha came, she said, Gail, you look so good. I go, yeah, but I didn't make the maximum top 100. Oh, but yeah. Miss Missy. No. Or the most oh, beautiful in people. Oh, God, no. Oh, the most beautiful in uh, yeah. She mo made most beautiful. Yes, yeah. she did. I don't really have an answer for this. No. <laughs> you can just say thank you. And I understand, before you came, Sarah, Julie said you're working on a book called Fifty Shades of Gay. Are you gay? <laughs> Congratulations. She's extremely great. Congratulations. When we first started working together, I said to Sarah how proud I was of her, that she's out every yeah. day, yes. that people get to see somebody who's yes. a role model in television every single day. Absolutely who, agree. Who's just out. It's a part of her life. Yes. She speaks about it freely. And a great mother. mother. And a great I, mother. I didn't mean to be out before this interview. <laughs> 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 really? <laughs> Sarah, hey, people are everywhere. It's okay. <laughs> Congratulations on your success. Thank really, thank we're you. glad you're in town, and I guess I'm coming to play with you on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Yay! Can't wait. I'm gonna buy a new dress. Yeah. All this week the talks come the talk comes from New York City live and in color. It's at two o'clock Eastern, one o'clock Central Pacific, right here on CBS. You guys are in our eye opener a lot, you know that. Oh we yes. love it. Yes. 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 We like it. We like it. I watch every single morning. We it's like it. Thank you.